Hey there, YouTube fam. We're at the Walsh, the old Walsh Hotel in Alamosa, Colorado. And we'll get to why we're here in a minute. But this case for Rochelle Hammond, the 33-year-old Native American woman that went missing in Mosca, Colorado, a.k.a. Alamosa, Colorado. And the investigation has actually brought us here to this super creepy place. And this has to do with the case of Audre Barraz, a.k.a. Psycho. Okay, this is no joke, guys. This guy's an MS-13 gang member. Him and his brother, Gato, uh, ran this trap house right here. So this place right here, I'll take you in and let you see it, was the main trap house for Alamosa. You see how it's all boarded up? It was recently lit on fire and it was actually confirmed that it was arson. So people were trying to cover up the evidence that was left over in here. I'll let you see through the crack. So through these doors right here, you're not gonna believe it, but Andre Barraz, AKA Psycho, used to live in this apartment right here. And he actually cut up Myron Martinez's body and hauled it right out this gate right here. Right out the back door right there and right out this gate. Hauled out a body. So that was Andre Barraz, AKA Psycho, and his brother Gato. And you can look this case up, just Google Audrey, A-D-R-E, Baraz, B-A-R-O-Z, Psycho, Alamosa. He's currently being held at the Alamosa jail on, get this guys, four murders. He's been connected to four murders that he's totally did. And get this, they've confirmed the remains of three, but there's one set of remains that has not been confirmed. And guys, I think this is Rochelle Hammond's remains. Okay, so what's the connection? Well, this was the main trap house right here. This is the hotel that Andre Barraza's apartment is up there in those boarded windows. Okay, this is a serial killer for MS-13, 100%. Um, he's been charged with the four homicides, all kinds of tampering. So what he would do is he would lure the people in here, people that owed drug debts, and then he would, him and his brother would kill them, he slit their throat, and then he would dismember their bodies in the bathroom up here and then haul it down here. And guys, look, we're in the middle of Alamosa. In the middle of town, there's the train station. I mean, guys, this guy was operating a major drug operation, a major meth and heroin dealing out of this whole building right here. This is called the Walsh Hotel in Walshburger. And Andre Barraz and MS-13 had this building they were paying the lease on, I guess. But they were slinging drugs. This was the main trap house for Alamosa for years. Okay? Back before 2019, Andre Barraz and MS-13 were selling drugs out of this trap house right here. And why is that important? A half mile that way is the Devil's Playground where Rochelle Hammond last came in touch with law enforcement. Three days before she went missing, Rochelle Hammond, a quarter mile that way, um, was talked to by law enforcement. Um, they confirmed that it was her. Um, and then she disappeared a few days later. Okay, And in the report, some people that were interviewed said, Rochelle went to meet two guys named Diablo or something else. Guys, I really think she went to meet Psycho and his brother Gato. And uh, I think um, uh, that was her demise, meeting them. I think she, you know, it, it was said that she was um, she, a drug user. And I think she uh, occurred a debt with them. And MS-13 does not play. If you owe them 20 bucks, they'll kill you. So Myron Martinez pulled up in this parking lot right here, probably right here, went in this gate to go get drugs off of Psycho. A t-shirt, which in slang is 1.7 grams. So Myron Martinez effect, uh, effectively got killed over 1.7 grams of meth. 
Okay, and the girl he was with, Shyla Hamill, she's from Saguache. She was, just came with him just because she wanted to hang out, and uh, it was her first time hanging out with him. She ends up getting murdered just for riding along with Myron Martinez. Myron Martinez was lured right through those gates up there, and he was held down and his throat was slit. And this is by the witness, and you can look all this stuff up. His throat was slit, and then Psycho and Gato dismembered their bodies up there and hauled it out into a truck. And then they took Shyla Hamill and did all kinds of bad stuff for her. You guys can read the report. And then they killed her and dismembered her body and took it out to Las Sauces, which is about 15, min 15 minutes this way, okay? That's Las Sauces, and that's where the House of Horrors is that uh, Andre Barraz, psycho, had a house there, and they would kill the people here, and they'd take them out there and burn their bodies, chop them up, and dispose of them. <coughs> Why is this uh, important? Because, so, four people have been murdered, three sets of the remains have been confirmed. There's another set of remains that has not been, the D, they have a DNA profile, but <clears throat> they haven't been able to connect it to anybody. And guys, I really think this is Rochelle Hammond's remains. I think we've, I mean, so what are the chances? Let's talk about odds. What are the chances? What are the chances that Rochelle Hammond hung out right down here, okay, at the Devil's Playground a quarter mile, um, was using drugs. This was the main trap house for the last three years. Psycho and MS-13 were selling drugs like crazy in this trap house, okay? All right. It was last said that Rochelle was going to go meet two guys. I think she came to meet these guys, showed them a debt, and they um, disposed of her, unfortunately. Um, so what I need your help with is law enforcement has not checked the um, Rochelle's DNA to the DNA of this person. And, you know, you think it, since all these cases are connected, you think that they would automatically check that. But um, I need help with you at home to pressure these Alamosa County Sheriff and the uh, Alamosa Police Department. Uh, there's a guy, Martinez, a detective on the case to compare Rochelle's DNA to the DNA that was found out in Las Sauces at Psycho's house where he disposed of the bodies, okay? And this is confirmed, three people's remains were found out at Psycho's uh, ranch out there. So, I mean, this is straight out of a horror movie, guys. You can't write, I mean, this is, you can't write this stuff. So see how this is all boarded up? You can see up there, so someone just torched it not too long ago. And I think they torched it because they're getting rid of the evidence because they, they used to hack bodies up in here and haul them out here, put them in trucks and drive it out to the ranch. All right, I just, <clears throat> the connection is, um, the timing works, everything lines up with Rochelle because I mean, she was using, she would have had to know that these were the main guys running the trap house I mean, when MS-13 is in the area, there's not any other drug dealers, okay? MS-13 runs the whole block. They would have been the main drug dealers in the area. And I think, in my opinion, they, they would have had to have had interaction with Rochelle Hammond. And Myron Martinez used to sell drugs for Psycho, okay? And I think he came up short or whatever, and I think he was killed for it. And unfortunately, I think Rochelle was the exact same thing. I think she used to peddle a little bit of drugs for this psycho guy. And I think she came up short, probably just, a, you know, not even a few bucks. And I think she was, um, met her demise from that. So, what can we take away from this? The good thing is this Audrey Barraz guy, uh, he's never getting out of jail. And I actually just saw a picture of him recently where he got beat up real bad in jail and he's looking all sad and he's all skinny and his face is all bashed in, in prison. So he's already getting a taste. So that's some karma coming back for you. So this guy attacked three women from behind and murdered them and dismembered them in the most harsh and brutal way. He's a coward. He's a little, he's got his face painted up. You gotta look, Google a picture of this Andre Barras psycho. I would love five minutes in a room with you, punk. He's got his face tattooed up. It looks like a clown, a little skinny punk clown. 
And I mean, the pain he inflicted on so many families in this area. So he's a serial killer. He's got four bodies on him. And I think Rochelle's number five. And who knows how many other people came in here and had a small little drug debt and ended up losing their life for it and being dismembered by some animals. And then buried out in the field out in the sauces 15 minutes this way. So guys, I know that was a lot to take in and sorry I didn't upload a video yesterday, but this is the last day of the search and this is my conclusion. I really feel like Rochelle Hammond unfortunately had an interaction with these guys, owed a little debt and lost her life for it. And um, I'm hoping we can get this DNA compared. Sorry about the noise. The DNA compared to Rochelle to the le leftover remains that were found out in Las Casas. So you know, guys out here, if it's not wind, it's freaking loud ass trucks and everything else. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm all worked up over this. I need to take a break. Um, we, we've been going hard, but this is where the evidence left uh, led us to. And uh, man, I just feel like in my heart, those that last set of DNA profile that they found out at that ranch is gonna be Rochelle. But it's unbelievable. I want to show you this place. I mean, this is so, this is Walsh Burger. That's the Walsh Hotel, and this is Walsh Burger, which is a lot of corruption and shady activity. But you can see the sign, Walsh Burger. So this was straight up an MS-13 drug house, y'all. This whole building right here was controlled by MS-13 for the last several years. They were selling meth and heroin out of this place. So we're going to walk up here real quick. Before all this traffic comes but this is the walsh burger look 13 bsl 30 that's ms 13 on the glass you see 13 ms 13 ran a trap house out of this old restaurant and look on the inside it's straight up looks like a crack house in there Straight up, I mean, house of horrors. People were dismembered. Who knows how many people were dismembered in this place, you guys. And then it was recently set on fire. So all the homeless and every, all the drug addicts would come here and party. And uh, for sure, Myron Martinez was murdered here. His throat was slit by Psycho and Gato, the brothers, the Baraz brothers. Look at this guy. I mean, just a nightmare place. So you can imagine all the nefarious things going on here. But this is the back side of the building where Andre Baraz lived here. This is the main trap house. And this is where many people lost their lives, guys. And I think Rochelle Hammond is one of them. Rochelle Hammond could very well have lost her life in this building right here over a very minor drug debt. So, fingers crossed, we're gonna get the DNA compared, if, even if we gotta get the CBI, Colorado Bureau of Investigation involved, because the sheriffs don't really wanna mess with it anymore. They're kinda trying to sweep it under the rug. But I wanted to say thanks for tuning in. Tell me what you think. Please research the case. Andre Baraz of Alamosa. He's convicted or charged right now with the murders of four people. So what are the chances we have a serial killer in the area that's interacting with Rochelle Hammond, you know, in a drug way, and then Rochelle goes missing and she's interacting with a serial killer. What are the chances of that? You know, and them not being connected or him not being responsible for that. So that's where I'm at. That's the final thoughts of the Rochelle Hammond case here in Alamosa, Colorado. Man, there's a lot of shady stuff, y'all. This is the real trap house. Look at it. It's super sad. I can't believe this trap house is going on in the middle of Alamosa, in downtown Alamosa in the city. It makes you wonder if somebody's on the take. I mean, this guy ran a trap house for years selling meth. I mean, probably supplied the whole 
south south of Colorado with drugs, and he's in here chopping people up and removing their bodies, you know, and no, you know, no one knows anything. The cops, you know, they're not going to shut it down. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. Tell me what you think down below, and uh, hit that like and subscribe on the way out. And check the case out. But I think this is what happened to Rochelle, guys. In my heart, I feel like it. And uh, God bless y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.